some of the things that people resolve to do in the new year is quit smoking, uh, maybe exercise more, maybe lose 15 pounds. Are there any tips that they can take away with them that'll really help them at least get started for maybe the first couple of weeks, getting halfway through those goals? Well, one of the best tips is to identify the people that drain you, that suck the life out of you and the energy out of you, because often you're doing all those things to get quick energy fixes to deal with people who are a real drain in your life. So if you can uh, take the first 30 days or 60 days and figure out what is draining from your life and figure out a way to stop that, then you won't need those quick energy fixes that you need to make it from lunch to dinner. Do you think it's better to resolve to do something with another person or is it sort of better to just take it on by yourself? I think it's better to do it with another person because then when you're feeling uh, less disciplined, less motivated, they can kick you in the rear get you started and you can kick them and there's something about actually doing something with someone that takes the uh, takes the difficulty of doing without that habit you're trying to break. Do you make resolutions every year? I certainly do. Do you keep them every year? I don't have your batting average. <laughs> I think my batting average is terrible. I only keep about half of them, but I have low expectations. You know? You're doing better than uh, most of them. <laughs> All right. Dr. Mark Golston, thank you very much for joining us this thank morning. Thank you. Morning Blood, we appreciate it. And still ahead on more.